Okay, uh, here we're going to talk about timing relays and how to set up a timing relay. In Constructor, we can have timing relays, regular relays, you have delay settings and instant settings. So I'm going to come over here, I'm going to select a two-wire relay coil that has a TR on it, and that will be my coil I'm using. I need to make some room here, and what I'll do is I'm going to take this, grab this, and bring it down. Just make some room in there. Okay? And we'll do select the timing relay, put it here. Alright, let's go get us a set of contacts to turn this relay on. We'll connect these up. Okay. Now we'll name this TR1. Okay. Going to assign these contacts to our motor coil. Now you see TR1 and motor starter 1 are there. Okay. I'm going to select motor starter 1. And if you look down here, you'll see it's given me the choice of instantaneous or delayed. Okay. The motor starter is an instantaneous relay, so we'll select instantaneous. Okay. Now we've got our delay setting here. Okay, and we're going to right click on that, and a delay re our timing relay, we'll go and hit the delay settings. Okay, now set this up, you can either set an on delay or an off delay. And to keep these similar to what we're using in class, use one or the other, but don't program the same coil to have both an on delay and an off delay. So let's come over here under seconds and put a 10 second delay on delay okay now we can scroll down here okay and we're gonna come up here find us a set of timing contacts we look over here scroll down through here and here's our timing contacts okay we have an up arrow, there's an on delay, down arrow, there's an off delay, up arrow, on delay, down arrow, off delay. So what we want to do is we want this horn to sound for five seconds when we first turn it on and then it will shut off. We don't want it running the whole time. So we're going to use a normally closed on delay and we'll stick that right there. Now I'm going to come up and connect the wire here. Then we'll bring the horn up, okay, and connect it there. Now I don't need these, so I'll select these and delete them. Gone. Now I'm going to right click this, do the assignment, select TR1, and now I'm going to go and select delayed. Okay? Get the delayed there. Now, it is connected to TR1, and it's connected by the delay settings. I'm going to make sure my sound is off for this one. Okay, we're going to come back up here. I'm going to scroll on up here a little bit, get access to everything. Turn our simulation on. Close our switches. Start this. You see the power energize here going through the horn is on. When this gives your countdown time, one opens up, turns off your timer. That's it.